On Dream Car Garage, we don't always do a car because it's fast or expensive, or even if it's sublime or ridiculous. Sometimes we just do them because they're bloody cool. I am the voice of Night Industry 2000's microprocessor, K-I-T-T -T for easy reference, a kit if you prefer. In the 1980s, television didn't have to be any good to be compelling. If it had a car in it, it was cool. Well, the Knight Rider had this car in it, and any show with a cool car had car guys all over North America paying attention. Now, you wouldn't believe it, but this replica car was pioneered by a father and son team out of Mount Pleasant, Michigan, and they drove it all the way down here to Moroso so that we could go bombing around in it. Underneath the skin, it's just a 1981 Firebird, and the mechanicals worked fairly well. It was a rolling restoration done by Rob Lewisell, who is really the author of all of this type of replica stuff when it came to the Knight Rider way back when. Well, his son Dave helped him out, and they've literally got hundreds of hours into this car. The paint and body are flawless on it, but imagine the amount of wiring that went in here, and of course, you've got to ask yourself the question why. All of these doodads don't really do anything, but they're completely accurate to the Knight Rider of the television show. Now, the only thing that's really odd about driving this car is this ridiculous steering wheel. If you're going to do much more than a lane change, then the thing ends up in your lap and dangerously close to the family jewels. You don't want to go around any corners in a big hurry in this car, but that's not why you would buy a car like this. The reason you'd buy a car like this is that you're the kind of guy who's a child of the 80s and really got turned on by this thing in the first place. By now, you've got a few bucks together and you're thinking to yourself, C6 Corvette, Porsche 911, now, man, I'm going to get a 1981 Firebird and make it look just like the Knight Rider. <laughs> if, if you're that kind of guy, then these Lewisall guys are the guy for you. Now we come around to the question, do you need a car like this? Well... Are you all right? I took the liberty of scanning your vital signs. Your blood pressure is 190 over 120 and your pulse is 104. I've been living the good life. Why don't you just keep all that stuff to yourself, car? But do you want a car like this? Well, if you are a child of the 80s and you do dig the sublime and the ridiculous, then yeah, baby, you want a car just like this. Not just a car. Most of what you said was incoherent.